watching West Harper Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. boys and girls. Hi, Hi Mr. Pop. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Guess what we do in Mr. Pop's neighborhood? What? We treat everybody with respect. Because everybody is Somebody in Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Guess what we're going to discuss today? What? Uh, Ready? Yes. Say no self-esteem. No, no self-esteem. Say low self-esteem. No self-esteem. We're going to discuss that today, okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Because you know what? Say ranking. Ranking. Say teasing. Teasing. Bullying. Bullying. That makes a person feel like an outcast, right? Yes. yes. Say outcast. Outcast. That makes a kid feel like they unwanted. They make a kid feel like they're unwanted. They have no friends. They have no friends. Nobody love them. Nobody love them. Nobody wants to be around them. Nobody wants to be around them. But we don't treat people like that in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? We don't treat people. That we treat everybody like they're somebody, right? Yes. And we want to set examples for other neighborhoods, right? Yes. No bullying. No bullying. No gang violence. No gang violence. No peer pressure. No peer pressure. No teasing. No teasing. We accept authority. We accept authority. Am I right? Yes. Now watch this. Say no self-esteem. No self-esteem. When you find a person with no self-esteem, what we do in Mr. Pop's neighborhood is we develop their self-esteem. Say develop their self-esteem. Develop their self-esteem. You know how we develop their self-esteem? How? We show them that they have a lot of good in them. A lot of kids don't discover the goodness that's in them. But we in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, our responsibility is to show a kid all the good things they have in them to make them feel good about themselves, right? Yes. yes. You got some kids can sing. You got some kids can dance, right? Yes. You got some kids good at math, right? Yes. yes. Good at English, right? Yes. And so what we have a tendency of doing in Mr. Pop's neighborhood is we help them discover that that's in them, right? Yes. So that's developing self-esteem, right? Yes. Now, a kid with low self-esteem Say low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. That means they have a lot of things in them, but they feel low about themselves. So what we do is and we enhance what they have in them. I'll give you an example, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What you pretty good at? What do you think you're pretty good at? One at a time. Running and singing. Running and singing? Yes. Okay. Do you feel at times that you really can't run the way you want to run or sing the way you want to sing? Yes. Okay. For example, now, we at Mr. Pop's neighborhood, we're responsible by showing you that you can enhance that. We make you feel good about yourself. Doesn't it feel good to be feel good about yourself? Yes. Don't it make you a little more understanding, makes you a little more stronger when you feel good about yourself? Yes. I want each one of y'all to say your name and your age, one at a time. How's that? My name is Deve and I'm eight. My name is Dinesia and I'm seven. My name is Nafara Ramsey and I'm eight years old. 
My name is Marcia Marie Cohen, and I'm seven years old. My name is Javon Sharif Kamani Hill, and I am eight years old. My name is Jonathan, and I'm seven years old. All right. Now, guess what? When you see a kid in your class with low self-esteem, what are we responsible for doing for that kid? One at a time. Somebody tell me. Remember we talked about? Tell them not. No, one at a time. Go ahead. Make them feel good about themselves. That's right. How do we make them feel good about themselves? No bullying, no teasing, no fighting, no game banging. That's right. And, and go ahead. Go, Jonathan. Go ahead, Jonathan. Go, Jonathan. What were you about to say, Jonathan? Say it. It's okay. I forgot what it was. Okay, we'll you'll come back. We'll, we'll remember. We'll come back to it. Okay, how's that? Yes. Do anybody else want to comment on we'll low self-esteem and share? They, you need, people need to help the people that has low self-esteem and ha and be nice and kind to each other. That's right. And How do we help them? Go ahead. Yeah, and, and you have to love and care for them. Give her a hand. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Anybody else want to contribute to that? Um, no, no bullying, no teasing. That's okay. Go ahead. No bullying, no teasing. No hurtful, mm -hmm. no, game no, no game begging. Why so is it important school. to listen to your parents and listen to your teachers and accept authority? Why is it important? One at a time. Because somebody, if it's like an emergency, if you're not listening, that means you might get in like, something bad. One, one at a time, one at a time, okay? We're like, gonna give her a chance. We're gonna give you like a chance. Like something to. might happen to you. If there might be an emergency and you're not listening. That means you, you don't know what to do. That's right. Did you hear that? Yes. yes. Whenever a teacher is talking to you and you're not paying attention, it can be harmful to you. Say if you have a drill, a fire drill, yeah. and you're not paying attention to the teacher, and everybody's paying attention to the teacher, follow the teacher out to the fire drill, and you're left behind. What can, be ha what can happen? You can burn off. Right. Yeah. But if you pay attention, you, you cannot, you, you you cannot be, be burned off. You can be safe. And you, um, and you'll be. Go ahead. Alive. That's right. So it's important to listen to adults, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. We call that accepting authority. Yes. yes. From our parents. Yes. yes. School teachers. Yes. yes. Any adult that's telling you what's right, right? Yes. Now, how do we help people who have what you call low self-esteem? Right. How do we help people? That's that. right. How do we help people with low self-esteem? We can help people. One at a time. One at a time. We can help people. Inviting them to something and tell and show by showing them you care and you want to be there for them. That's like a birthday that? party. No, did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Say it one more time. Say it slow one more time. You're very correct. Say it one more time. I think you should. Um, I think you should help someone with low self-esteem by inviting them to something and showing them that you care and you want to be there for them. That's right. Give her a hand, though. That makes a person feel. That makes a person feel like they accepted. Say accepted. Accepted. Everybody wants to be accepted. You know that, right? Yes. Nobody should be say left in. Left in. Nor left out. Nor left out. Everybody should be included. Am I correct? Yes. You want to make people feel good about themselves. How do you feel? As a matter of fact, Michelle. Yes. May I ask you a question? Yes. How do you feel? When you feel good about yourself, or when you feel good about yourself, how do it make you feel? It makes me feel happy because they're because they're there for me and they love me and they care for me. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Isn't that good? Yes. Nevea. Nafara. Nafara. How does that make you feel when you feel good about yourself? I, I feel when I feel good about myself, I feel strong and proud because nobody could take tell me off. Make me feel bad about myself or take it away from me. You hear that? Yeah. Say positive attitude. Positive, positive attitude. attitude. We want people to have positive attitudes about themselves, right? Yes. yes. And people, do you know something? People cannot help the way they look. Kids. But is that fair for us to see a kid because they fat, we call them fat? No. no. They can't help that, right? No. We're supposed to encourage them 
by making them feel good about their weight, right? Yes. Letting them know that even though they fat, even though they heavy set, even though they chubby, they still is just as equal as we are, right? Yes. A person can't help it if they dark skin, right? Yes. A person can't help it if they very light skin, right? Yes. A person can't help it if they got short hair, right? Yes. So what we do is what? Make them feel good about themselves, right? Yes. yes. Now, Yvonne, how do you feel good about you? Tell me how you feel about yourself. I feel about myself. I, I feel proud. Mm -hmm. I feel good. And that's, I, I feel loveful. Well, and guess what? When you feel good about yourself, you're able to share that with other kids, right? Yes. yes. And make other kids feel good about themselves. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Right. right. Say outcast. Outcast. Remember what we discussed about the word outcast? Yes. yes. That makes the person feel depressed, correct? Yes. yes. Do you know why a lot of kids feel suicidal? Say suicidal. Suicidal. Who can define? Who knows the definition? One at a time. Suicide is when you want to hurt yourself and think negative things about yourself. Okay. Suicide means that when you're trying to hurt yourself or kill yourself or like trying to stab yourself or somewhere that you don't, something that you're not supposed to be doing. When a kid feel like they're not accepted, when a kid feel like an outcast, they go home, they go to their room, they go to their basement, they go to their attic, some go sit out on the back porch, or some go walk off in the park by themselves, and they get to thinking, their mind get to say wandering. 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 Their mind get to wandering, and they start thinking negative things about themselves, saying, well, kids don't like me, nobody wants to be around me, everybody's teasing me, so they feel like there's no value to live and say no value to life. No value to life. That's what a kid feels when they feel like suicidal. They feel like they're not worth anything. But we, in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, what do we make a kid feel like? Happy. Happy, 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 happy proud, and proud. One at a time. One at a time. Developed. One at a time. What else? Proud. What else? Happy and they're loved and they're cared about. Say that again. Say that again. Happy and they're loved and they're cared about. Test what we want to focus on, right? Yes. That's what we want kids to feel good about themselves, correct? Yes. And the best example is what? Them watching you, right? Yes. yes. So say for instance tomorrow. 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 If you, when you go to school tomorrow yes. and you see kids <coughs> teasing, and picking on another kid, you all know the best way to handle it? Yes. One, one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead. Say it louder. And do what then? When you get the adult, what do you do? Tell them. Do you know why it's important <coughs> to bring it to the teacher's attention? So say, for instance, tomorrow, when you go to school tomorrow, and you see kids teasing, and picking on another kid, you all know the best way to handle it? Yes. One, one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead. Say it louder. And do what then? When you get the adult, what do you do? Tell them. Do you know why it's important <coughs> to bring it to the teacher's attention? Yes. Do you know why? Yes. yes. Because matters can get out, say matters can get out of hand. Matters, matters can, can get, get out, out of hand. hand. But you are not supposed to take the matters in your own hand. Say that. But you are not supposed to take the matters in your own hand. hand. You go to an adult. You go to an adult. And you let the adult know that somebody is bullying in the class. You so let the adult know that someone is bullying in the class. Now listen to this. Say snitching. 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 Say there's no selfish, there's no. There's no. There's no. There's no. You listen? Yes. yes. Okay. There is no such thing. There is no such thing. As snitching. As snitching. When you're helping somebody out, right? Mm -hmm. Listen yes. to this. If you have a friend in the classroom, mm -hmm. and a kid threatening them, when you get out of school today, we're going to beat you up, we're going to hurt you. And you don't go and tell a teacher. The next day, you hear about that kid, say, I see you. I see you. That means intensive care unit. If you see a kid had to go rush to the hospital by an ambulance, and you find out that kid was beat up from the same students you heard threatening him, and you feel like you didn't tell the teacher, how would that make you feel? Sad. 
Sad, right? Yes. And you said, if I would have told your teacher that they was going to bully that kid after school, say prevent. Prevent. I could have prevented that kid from getting hurt, right? Yes. So now you see what I mean when I say there's no self, there's no. There's no. Say it. There's, there's no, no such thing. Such thing as snitching. Say it again. As snitching when you're coming to help someone. Say it again, Yvonne. Say it again. There's no such thing as snitching when you're coming to help someone. And you're trying to help someone, right? Yes. Because yes. we're supposed to notify the teacher, right? Yes. yes. And we identify the bully, right? Yes. And then say the teacher rectify. The teacher rectify. But we don't take matters in our own hand, right? Yes. yes. Now, young lady. How many young ladies we have here? Four. Four. Young lady. Guess what? Yeah. You all are supposed to act like young ladies. You know that, right? Yes. yes. How do you act like a young lady, Miss Michelle? How do you act like a young lady? You wear things that ladies supposed to wear. What else? Go ahead. And you wear, you say not, you, you have to get, you have to look, you have to care about one another and um, sit like a lady and do things all like ladies. Did you hear that? Yes. yes. Did you hear what she said? Yes. Sit like a lady. Yes. Do everything like a young lady, right? Yes. That's important. You know that, right? Yes. And young men, how do you supposed to conduct yourself? How? Um, you have to talk like men. You have to walk like men. You have, you have to sit like men. And you have to play like men. That's right. Um, All that has to do with self-esteem, too. Yeah. Yes. One my classmate, when I was in second grade, one time at school, my classmate, he was in a locker because there was something wrong with his seat, and this boy named Nehemiah threatened that he was going to beat him up after school, but he didn't because he told the teacher. Give her a hand now. <laughs> listen, listen, not so long, come on now, come on. Listen, say your name. Nafari. Nafari? 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 I'm proud of you. Now ask me why I'm proud of you. You're proud of me because I told the teacher to help my friend. You conducted yourself. Conduct. Say conduct. Conduct. You conducted yourself in a proper manner. You know that? Yes. You really did. Yes. And that's what we need to do. You identify the problem, you notify the teacher, and the teacher rectify it. You know that, right? Yes. yes. But we don't want you to do. go ahead. Um, in first grade, um, somebody was going to hit me, but I told the teacher, and they and they they got in trouble and they got suspended. Guess what? what? You handled that in the right manner. I'm proud of you. You know why you handled it in the right manner? Because guess what? Say for instance, say retaliated. Retaliated. Do you know anybody know what that word retaliation means? No. Well, guess what? Retaliation means to respond back. You know that, right? Yeah. To react. To react. To react. You didn't react. You know how you handled it? Yes. You notified the teacher. That's how you handle it. Now, if you would have reacted, say, matters would have been worse. Matters would have been worse. Somebody could have got hurt. Somebody right? Got hurt. So. So. How did you handle it? How do you feel like you handled it? How do you feel? I felt uh, proud of myself and happy. Do you know that's good to feel good about yourself because you know you did something right? Yes. I feel, I feel good about I'm proud of you. Because in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, what? He's helping everybody. In Mr. Pop's. Everybody like yourself. One. That's that. What did you say, the We make somebody feel like there's somebody. That's right. In Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? Yes. In Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Go ahead. And when people are hurt and you and, and if you care about them, you have to be there and get love for them or tell a teacher. You know what another thing we need to do? When you feel like a student, a friend of yours, is missing from school, when you feel good to go to the teacher and say, Javon haven't been to school in two days. Is he all right? Yes. Isn't that a good thing to do too? Yes. Say concern. Concerned. You have to be concerned about one another, right? Yes. Now, guess what? How would that make you feel, Javon, if you stayed away from school for two or three days, right? Right? No. If you stay away from school 
for two or three days, and the students sent you cards, and the students asked your parents and asked the school teacher to check on you to see how you're doing, and your mom come to your room and say, some of your students called to check on you, Devon. They sent you some cards. How would that make you feel? Happy. Did you hear that? Yes. Why would it make you feel happy? Because my friends are worried about me. And what else? They're making me feel good about myself. Isn't that how we're supposed to make people feel? Yes. Michelle, yes. how would you feel if you was missing from school for two or three days and the kids didn't check on you or didn't call you or you didn't receive any cards? How would that make you feel? I would have been, um, I would have been sad and I wouldn't, and, and I, I would think that w they weren't loving and cared about me. Did you hear that? Yes. Isn't that an honest statement? Yes. But in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, we show that we love and care for one another, right? Yes. We'll check on Miss Shelia, right? Yes. We'll ask the school teacher to call the parents. We'll get some cards together. And you know what? You can make cards in school. You know that, right? Yes. If you say to the teacher, you say, teacher, you don't, the teacher know you all don't have no money, right? Yes. You say to the teacher, say, teacher, teacher. instead of recess, instead of recess. <laughs> can we stay in the class? And can we make some get well cards? Can we make some get well cards? Guess what the teacher will say? Yes. Yes, but guess how the teacher, guess what makes the teacher feel good? Because the teachers say, you all say sacrifice. Sacrifice. You all going to sacrifice not going out to play for recess than to stay in and make get well cards for your students, for your friends, right? Yes. The teacher says, say sacrifice. Sacrifice. Who, who knows what sacrifice means? One at a time. Can somebody tell me what sacrifice means? Sacrifice means when you have to put something in the front to g do something that you really want to do. Give a hand. Give a, come on now. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Say prioritize. Prioritize. You make it a priority, right? Yes. And just exactly what you said. You put something aside that you really enjoy doing. You put it aside to do something you feel important about doing. That's making a sacrifice, right? Yes. So watch the example. Teacher. Teacher. We would like to know. We would like, like to know. That if we can stay. That we can stay. Inside. Inside. For recess. For recess. recess to make some get well cards. To make some get, get well cards. For our friends. For our friends. friends. And guess what the teacher going to say? The, kid, the teacher going to say, these kids are making a sacrifice. These kids are lovable. These kids are caring. Because they rather, they rather put aside going out, having fun, and stay in the class and make good well cards for their friends. Um, Mr. Pop? Yes. My friend Zaya has been out for three days. And I'm, tomorrow I'm going to ask Ms. Chow if we can stay in for recess and make good well cards. Now, guess what? Miss Chow didn't tell you all this, but I'm going to tell you all this, okay? Because you all at the age now. Last month, I took a group of kids to the Schomburg Museum in Harlem, New York. Mm -hmm. We ate at Amy Ruth Restaurant in Harlem. Then the following two months later, we took the kids to say Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. And they rode the ferry. 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 And they went to Sylvia's Restaurant in Harlem. Y'all ever, anybody ever been to New York? No. I have. You have? What I part? Have. Well, two of y'all, what part? I, I don't know what part, but I, but I know I've been in New York. Okay, you enjoyed I've it? I've been in Brooklyn. Oh, you've been to Brooklyn? Yeah. All right. It's really bad. We were, I thought, I thought there was a, a game and we were writing graffiti on the, on the wall. Yeah, they call it, say, graffiti. Mr. Yeah, that's graffiti. Mr. Pop? Yes. I was in Brooklyn, BA. Oh, yeah? Okay. So guess what? You all going to get a chance to go to those places, okay? Yes. Take field trips. You know why we do that? Yes. To let you get exposed, say exposed. Exposed. Get a chance to see get and experience chance. other places, other things. When y'all like that? Yes. yes. And we get to go to places that we've never been to. So we can have fun and explore stuff. And you know what, Miss Chow, your school teacher? Yeah. 
She's a lovely lady. Y'all know that? Yes. She loves y'all. She calls me up, right? Yes. And she say, Mr. Pop, we want to do these things. We want to do it. And we're going to start having movie night. Say movie night. Movie night. Uh, we watch movies, right? Yes. We're yes. going to watch nice educational movies. Not nothing with violence in it. Not nothing with killing, drugs. Watch Cursing. Something. Say it again. Cursing. Cursing, right. We're going to watch something educational. And guess what's going to happen after the movie? That too, that's too. Okay, say the word, say dialogue. Dialogue. Say communication. Communication. With one another. With one another. About the movie we watch. About the movie we watch. So we're going to get into a discussion about what you watch, right? Yes. Because each and every one of you all will get something out of the movie, right? Yes. yes. Then we're going to have popcorn. Yes. I want to share something with you all. I thank you all for taking time out to be a part of Mr. Pop's Neighborhood. We want to set example for all the neighborhoods. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood.